So what's going on guys, my name's Mr. Dalek JD and it is hype train season my friend for Call of Duty World War 2 Zombies. Now unfortunately the reveal trailer or at least one version of it has leaked on the internet. Please avoid that by any means necessary because it's not the finished product and the finished product will arrive on Thursday ahead with the Comic Con reveal. But today we got some amazing new information from a secret package delivered to Sledgehammer Games to Noah J456. He unboxed this on his live stream and it was incredibly awesome to witness as he got a huge package. It was a jack in the box containing a load of important intel which gives us more backstory and our first teaser trailer now if you like the idea of a teaser trailer that you can actually watch you know it's finished it's cool it gives us a tiny bit of story details make sure you stick around because this is where things are going to come in very very useful for understanding the story but we're going to need to read this new bit of intel before we can get to that little teaser trailer so within the jack in the box he got a bunch of letters which is from marie's journal if you don't know this was introduced in milo's package on first day with two characters one who's called Marie and then her brother called Klaus Fischer and it seems as we're getting more information is building the backstory and it's leading us to the characters that we're going to be involved with and possibly playing as. Now within his papers Noah got a code which if you type in on the decoder website brings us all the intel that he got sent but in digital form so we have more of Marie's journal which paints more of a picture which gives us more understanding of the story behind World War II zombies. So, June 24th, 1943. I have just received an interesting letter, a response from Maine, and this handwriting is so hard to read, guys, so if you can pick out a word that I can't read, definitely go ahead and do so. It says, Hank Riddow of the newly formed M7AA. Apparently, the program has become rubber-stamped by the president himself. After weeks of being defied through pencil pushes and secretarial layers, my inquiry finally landed on the desk of someone who may be able to make a difference. Mayor Riddow is direct and to the point. He expressed a great interest in the artifacts that Klaus has alluded to and pressed me for details. Unfortunately, my brother is far less interested in these medieval museum pieces than he is in his captor's attempts at discussing the metaphysical properties of the highlighted in the few pieces of archaeological evidence Klaus managed to share in his notes in hopes that it will be enough to entice Riddow into action. It is a, I think that says Palfi list? Oh, Petty list? I don't know. I'm going to say Petty list, I know. Six years ago, the Mittelberg mines uncovered a chamber below the salt mines buried in the roots of the Roofhaus Mountains. It contains several altars and is a clown with remarkably preserved medieval carvings, a hand-picked band of fanatical mere thugs, a group known as the Ananerb, which is really interesting. I'm going to talk about that after this letter because these, this is this is big. Took over the mine shortly thereafter and sealed off the area. Nobody was allowed in or out of Mittelberg. Klaus believes the chamber to have been dedicated to the Emperor Frederick the First, King of Germany and Roman Emperor. That's got to be Frederick Barbarossa, and that it has been untouched for 800 years. There is something in the chamber, some relic from the era, which the leader believes to be sacred and powerful. A tool that is important to what will lead to the Fourth Reich. Apparently a quote from the Anthera. I do apologise if I butchered any of this. I really do apologise to any German viewers. I must confess that I refrained from communicating this final bit to the mayor. The Annenberg has always been something of a joke in allied intelligence circles, chalked up to their leader's fanatical superstition and a welcome waste of magic time and money. This is why I believe that even the OSS has been hesitant to engage in such obvious nonsense. I pray that the hint of medieval treasures will be enough to bring the MFAA to my door. Marie. 
holy crap man this is really in this is really exciting so in the previous one we had klaus mentioning that he found uh an ancient mine which belonged to barbarossa's sword which is frederick barbarossa it's many of the teasers we had many months ago in fact with an image of frederick barbarossa and now we have all of this as well with what appears to be what they believe frederick barbarossa to be uh, a powerful and sacred person and his artifacts as well will be what will lead to the fourth reich which is which is really cool this story so far is really sick and then we get this next image which looks oh it just looks so brutal we have this this skeletal person this person that's literally wearing away says i do not know when i'll be able to contact you again i hope that you have found it in your heart to forgive me if not i hope you will pass along my story as a cautionary tale i hope that you will fight whatever horrors are hidden beneath the mountain v g k ho oh. Awesome. So it seems again in this, Klaus is asking for forgiveness for his sister after going to have to look after their father. And I can't read any of this German below, but I'm sure it's going to be pretty useful. So any of you guys in the comments that can read German, please translate this, what you can see now on screen. It would be really useful to the community. And here's the real juicy thing. So in the last one that Milo got, we had an image which contained our first look at the zombies map itself. And this is is the second one, which is really exciting. Now, this says, Joan, knocked over by a farmer in 1923. It's an image of a load of gravestones. It says, standing stones on hillside over Mittelberg, possible ties to salt mine chamber, lightning rods? This sounds so Origins-esque. I'm loving this. And we can see this image of a load of gravestones. And we can assume this is what we will see inside of the Zombies map. And to finally finish things off, we got a teaser trailer. Which seems to be in the sort of starting area of the map. Where it looks more similar to the first image we got than it does to these gravestones. But we'll take a look and we'll try and dissect it after. So this looks like the grounds of where the map's taking place and from the words of it it seems like the map location itself is Mittelberg which isn't too far from Heidelberg meaning Heidelberg University so this is a fictional story but it seems to be taking place in a real location which is really really exciting. Right as I was about to end this video Call of Duty have just announced the first character and the first actor playing inside of Zombies and the character is called Drosten Hind and it's being played by David Tennant. Now you guys know my YouTube name is based off the TV series Doctor Who and David Tennant played as the Doctor for a number of years in that TV show and he's my favourite Doctor that's ever ever played a Doctor in that series. So I'm incredibly hyped right now. This is amazing. Every single day it seems we're going to be getting a brand new sort of reveal of who is playing inside of zombies in World War 2. And I could not be more happier that we're having David Tennant in. He has a very thick Scottish accent but he can play on a British accent pretty well. So it seems his character is going to be possibly Scottish which I'm very excited to hear, and I'm excited to play as David Tennant inside of World War II Zombies. Let me know what you think of all of this down below in the comment section. Make sure you're subscribed as the next Intel drop teasers from Sledgehammer will be on Monday on this channel. I have a package, I can't open it till Monday, we're going to have to wait for that, but it's going to be insane, so make sure you do not miss it. It'll be here on Monday, I'll live stream me opening it, us getting all of the teasers and intel, it's going to be insane. But thank you so much for watching, I'm so excited, I'll see you guys soon.